Hey guys, so I thought I'd just make a very quick video here talking about a few of Sony's new smartphones and in this video I'm specifically going to talk about the Xperia V because as we do know IFA 2012 in Berlin has now been, um, you know, been happening. So Sony have unveiled a ton of new smartphones and their first Xperia tablet, the Xperia Tablet S, which looks pretty interesting because it's like the first quad core tablet from Sony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Might pick it up, might, 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 might maybe. So, uh, but we're, we're gonna focus on the Xperia V, which is gonna be like their flagship device. And then also they unveil the Xperia T and then the TX, which is kind of the US or Asian variant of the Xperia T and then Xperia J, which is a little bit low end phone. Uh, so the Xperia V, what, that's gonna be like their new flagship device, at least in my country where I'm gonna be able to pick it up. It seems like it won't be a well bought Xperia T in my country, Sweden, but we will see. Uh, but the Xperia V is definitely gonna be the, you know, like replace Xperia S. So what is interesting about the Xperia V? Do you want to pick it up? Am I going to pick it up? That's a good question because uh, I have no idea. Uh, but they, they haven't really picked a release date right now uh, that it will come this fall, but they haven't said in like October or in November. Uh, but 1.4 gigahertz dual core, it's going to have exactly the same as with Xperia S. But the thing with this one is it's finally Snapdragon S4, not Snapdragon S3, like the Xperia S. And the Xperia S, I have it right here. Uh, but it's QOCOM MSM 8960. And the interesting thing about this uh, kind of CPU and chipset that they're using is that it uh, crushed the Galaxy S3's uh, Exynos chipset in a few uh, different comparisons. Even though, yes, I do know the Galaxy S3 is quad core. Uh, but it's based on Cortex-A9. I'm pretty sure this is based on Cortex-A15, so that's why it can beat it sometimes. So Adreno 225, that's the GPU that doesn't feel like it's this new Adreno 320 GPU that we have heard some rumors about, so it's probably not stronger than the Mali 400 overclocked and a Galaxy S3. Uh, one gigabyte of RAM, and uh, nothing revolutionary there. Built-in memory should be 32 gigabyte. 4.3 inch screen, here is where I'm starting to get a little bit disappointed. Uh, the phone is still very, very big, okay? The phone is very big. Yes, it's 4.3 inch, but it, when you compare it against the Galaxy S3 in screen size and, you know, a comparison side by side here, you can't see that it almost looks uh, like it's the same size. Uh, and why does it do that thing? Well, that is because Sony themselves, them, they, they have like, they have like uh, buttons uh, on the screen, uh, but still the phone is very big. They, they could have slimmed down on like one centimeter and the same problem they have with Xperia S, it's an extremely big phone. This, this phone, when I feel, when I, I, I have it in my hand, you know, like this, it feels almost like it's bigger than the Galaxy S3 because they, they should cut off one centimeter here at the bottom because that's used for their design thing. They should look cool. And then also they could like cut down a little bit here in the top just to make it a little bit more slim down. And so it feels a little bit more comfortable to hold, maybe a little bit more curves like the Galaxy S3. So, I mean, like this, these things are important for me because I, I want to have a nice feeling when I hold, uh, have a device in my hand. So it's still big, but it's still 4.3 inch. It's just the Xperia S uh, compared to the Galaxy S3 that comes with the 4.8 inch display. And it feels like almost slimmer than, you know, the Xperia S. It's kind of funny. Um, so when we go up here again, 30 megapixel camera. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Xperia S, the original one also had something like that and I have it right here. But it's pretty funny. The only like camera test videos that I've been doing and that people have been complaining on is those videos with the Xperia S. People are saying, oh, that guy has a fake Xperia S. So maybe the camera, at least the video mode, isn't that good that the camera kind of suck on the Xperia S and on this new Xperia V because people didn't think that my Xperia S was real when they saw the video test comparison against the, even an iPhone. But the, the Galaxy Note just crushed it over there. Uh, battery also seems to be a little bit disappointing. Only 1700 milliamps. Come on, Sam. No, come on. Come on, Sony. 1700 milliamps. You get a 2100 milliamp in the Galaxy S3. Even HTC is better than you. I think even they have like 1800 milliamps. 
and LG is having like the almost 2200 milliamps and this Samsung's new Galaxy Note is gonna have 3100 milliamps. Come on, Sony, you can do better. Uh, I don't think the battery life is going to be that good on this um, device. So that's a little bit disappointing. 120 grams only. That's kind of sweet, I'm pretty sure. 720p display, of course, and a high PPI. But that's not something new with the screen. Um, but I'm a little bit disappointed. I, w I, w I really wanted a bigger screen, especially when the phone really is that big in the hand and that they, you know, um, at least go quad someday. Even though this is a very good processor, but still dual core it doesn't sound like good. It doesn't sound like good, but I might pick this up. I might pick this up. We will just have to wait and see. Oh yeah, also one very good thing about this phone, it's water resistant. You don't have a dedicated camera button, but um, and of course you have the USB. You need to close those before you try water on the device, but it should be water resistant. So. That's something that's pretty sweet, and I suppose that that's their like third phone that's like water resistant. So they should probably slow down with the phones. It, it, it feels a little bit weird sometimes uh, how they name their phones. They should make it a little bit easier to know. Like Xperia TV and J sounds like very bad, bad names for new phones. Uh, but uh, yeah, as I said, might pick it up. Might pick it up. We have to wait and see. Yeah. Bye bye.